Hello Year 4 and welcome to Maths Lesson 4, fourth lesson of the week. Maybe you're doing it on Thursday, maybe you've powered through it and you're doing it on Monday. But it's Mr Goddard and I'll be taking you through the rest of this lesson. And we are going to be taking a journey through time, looking at timetables, which you won't see around very much at the, off uh, at the moment because of uh, all the different weird and wonderful timetables going on with our public transport. But we're going to take a look at them anyway because I'm sure that they'll be back. First of all, we have the quick maths, so uh, now is the time to pause the recording, try and do these as quickly as possible, getting every single one right, and once you're done, unpause and we'll go to the answers. Okay, here are your answers, quickly mark your work, you're going to want to pause the recording again, and just quickly check through, make sure you've got every single one right, if you've got any wrong, try and check to see how you got them wrong, what mistake you made. And then we'll move on to the main part of the lesson. Okay, we are going to be looking at timetables. And our first timetable is we're looking at a bus timetable. And we have got a very funky looking bus timetable here. First few things I think it's really important to realise is that actually this is talking about three different journeys. It's talking about journey A, journey B and journey C. and travels down to the bottom. So this is the direction the bus is traveling. And then there are four stops, and it stops at each one of these. So you have the beginning stop, Mill Road, and then you have the end stop, Fullwood, and then you have High Street and Pittsmore in between. So the bus, bus route A starts at 7.26, drives to the High Street, arrives at the High Street uh, three minutes later, then goes to Pittsmore Road half an hour later, and then all the way around to Fullwood and there's a big gap between Fullwood and Pittsmore Road as you can see so it's quite a big uh, long journey there so I've got an example question here and it's asking how long does the 842 express bus take to get to Fullwood so first of all I need to find out which bus is the 842 express bus so I just look at the diagram here at the times I can see the first bus here is a 726 bus so I know that's not going to be the starting one here 8.03 so I know that's not the 8.42 and here I've got the 8.42 bus now this diagram is really handy this table is really handy because all the end stops are highlighted in green and all the starting stops are highlighted in pink so you can very quickly find the start and finish points of each journey so quickly going back the 8.42 express how long does it take to get to forward so it starts at 8.42 and it arrives at 9.46. So I can see, if I write it here, 8.42, and I can write 9.46. I'm going to be finding the difference between, so I need to subtract. So I'm going to do 9.46. Now, fortunately, because this timetable is using the 24-hour clock, there's no funny business in terms of the hours, so I can actually do it just like this, so I have 6 take away 2 is 4, so I know it takes 4 minutes, and then I look at the hours here, so I know that the bus takes 1 hour and 4 minutes, and I know that because these first two digits here, these are the minutes, and these next two columns here are hours so I know anything in this these two columns here are the hours and anything in these two columns here are the minutes so I know I have one hour and four minutes between the two now there are some very tricky questions here so you really need to read them very very carefully some of them will refer to the buses in terms of the time some of them will refer to the buses that start at certain points in the journey and some of them will be asking different questions about the different routes so make sure you really carefully read through each question look for things like earliest or how long or what time or how much quicker these are the questions that it's asking you what time did I get what time will I get to what time did I get on how long is the journey what time is the latest I can leave home these are the questions that you need to ask. So really, really check and make sure that you're reading the question carefully, then looking at the bus timetable 
and using that information on the bus timetable, those three journeys, stopping at four different places or three different places or just having one stop and answer the questions. So pause the recording now, give it a shot and we'll go to the answers next. Well done, really good job. So I've got the answers on the page for you here. So pause the recording again, quickly check your answers and just check that you've got everything right. Okay, next challenge is going to be based on train timetables and this one gets a little bit trickier and it's gonna need some more maths involved since so there's some very, very difficult questions. Very similar to the bus timetable in that you have three journeys. You've got journey A, journey B, and journey C, and the journeys travel in this direction. So you have your start time up here, and then at the bottom here, you also have the destinations, the end here. Now, all of these trains start at London and end in Newcastle and you can see that there are some blank boxes to fill in. There's also an extra row at the bottom that says duration and that is going to be the total amount of time of the journey. So how long it takes a train to get from London all the way north to Newcastle. So you're going to need to do some math of that. Again, fortunately, 24 hour clock. So you're going to be able to use that to find the difference between those times. So give it your best shot and we'll come back and look at the answers next. Okay, here are your answers. You can see question one here, the answer was 12.53. Question two was 7.48 or 19.48. Journey A is three hours and 49 minutes. Uh, Journey A is 2 hours and 57 minutes, so it should say journey B. Difference in time, 52 minutes. Journey A or B, it tells you the difference between them. Uh, journey A, 1 hour and 14. Journey B, 32. Question 5, the answer is 1 hour and 37 minutes. Question 6 is 2 stations. And question 7 shows you the completed table. So pause this quickly and check your answers. And there we go, we are finished. Well done. Really good job, everybody. Fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and see you next time for lesson five with Mr. Shield.